half a year ago, I saw a video made by JaviDX9 where he used ray casting to make a small game in a console, and back then I thought it was impossible to do. Ray casting is the method which was used to render pseudo 3D games before. Wolfenstein 3D uses ray casting, but it's a little bit more advanced there. So how does it exactly work? At first, it casts a ray from the player, and if there is an intersection with the wall, it draws a line based on the distance. So when the distance is small enough, the line takes the whole height, and as the distance gets bigger, the line gets smaller. It was obviously a very brief explanation. Let's go further. Firstly, we should understand what information we have. We have a map which is stored as an array, and here 1 stands for walls and 0 stands for empty spaces. Also we have a player that stores field of view, position and direction. It's better if we organize the tasks. So the first one is going to be calculating distance. It consists of finding horizontal and vertical intersections and then getting the smallest one. And the final step is rendering. I'm gonna start with finding horizontal intersections. Here, if we look attentively, we can see that y step is equal to the side of the cell. And from math, we know that the ratio of y step and x step is equal to the tangent of the angle between them, because they form a right triangle. Moreover, y step and x step are always the same. And the angle is the same because horizontal lines are obviously parallel. Therefore, we can calculate x step. But before we can iteratively add x step and y step, we have to calculate y nearest and x nearest. Firstly, we have to calculate y nearest. That's how we can calculate it. Warning: We divide player y position by the side of the cell evenly. And as we calculate x step, we can calculate x nearest. That's great if you've understood. Now we can go on. Finding vertical intersections is similar to what we did before. Here we can see that in this case x step is equal to the side of the cell. The ratio of y step and x step is still equal to the tangent of alpha. Hence we can easily calculate y step. Here y step and x step are also always the same. We do the same thing for x nearest and y nearest. That's how we can calculate x nearest. Don't forget to divide it evenly. We have calculated everything we need to find intersections. Now we're gonna apply it. At first we add x nearest and y nearest to the player's position projection and check if there is a wall. And if there is nothing, we add x step and y step and check for intersection until we have one. That's how finding horizontal intersection works. Here you can see that it also detects vertical intersections. And that's how it works when I merge them. Hopefully you got everything I said before and we can go on. This part was a little bit tricky for me. Alpha stands for field of view and H equal to the side of the wall. Here we faith with the tangent again. Thus, we can calculate the ratio of the line. And therefore, based on the ratio, we can calculate the half of its length. And as the closer the player is, the bigger the wall seems. Now it's time for the final step. Here we have to calculate the step. And for it, we divide field of view by the width of the screen. Hence, if we cast ray for each column, in total we will get an amount of rays equal to the width of the screen. We can see that if we cast as many rays with this step, it gives us the field of view. So it doesn't matter what field of view or screen width you have. The image will just stretch or shrink. To remove the distortion, we have to get a projection of the distance vector onto the player's direction. And for it, we multiply the distorted distance by the cosine of the angle between them. For a better image, we need to somehow distinguish faces of walls. At first, I tried to use color interpolation, but it didn't look well for me. That's how it looked. Then I decided to use different colors for walls' faces. I'm using green for horizontal and dark green for vertical faces. 
I hope you found it helpful. Subscribe to see more videos and press the like button if you enjoyed the video.